gorgeous. Good morning folks, just a very, something very uh, silly but quite special actually. Yeah, as you know, this is one of my viewers' cars, Ken, he bought a W123 and it just happened to be here at uh, Ken Zone in Glanajaya SS6-6. So it also happened that there were other Mercs here as well, old school, and we decided to do, to rename this road Jalan Mercedes-Benz. Why? That's why. So from a beautiful 123, we've got my W126. We've got another W126 getting some work done here. We've got a customer drop by with a W124. And another W124 getting some work done. And of course, we have the resident 210s belonging to Awa and Ken. So there you go, Jalan Mercedes-Benz. How cool is that? <laughs> this is like a mini gathering of Mercedes-Benz owners. And it's absolutely gorgeous to see them all in a row like this. Oh, that's quite a walk. Lovely. So lovely. So yes, through the ages, we've got 70s, 80s, 90s, noughties. Lovely. How cool is that? All of them. Yeah, so for today only, for the next hour or so, SS6 stroke 6 has become Jalan Mercedes Benz. Beautiful. Let's get a panoramic view of this. And uh, talk among yourselves for a while, I'm extending my tripod. Yeah, I know, that sounds wrong. Yeah, so are you ready for the aerial view? Here we go. No, I haven't just... I'm not gonna levitate. So cool. Very cool. Look at that. Gorgeous. Right, so I hope you enjoyed that. I sure did. <laughs> Sharing is caring, folks. Not often you're gonna see these many generations of Mercedes Benzes, classic Mercedes Benzes in one place. One, two, three, one, two, six, one, two, four, two, ten. Damn. Thank you for watching.
Well, folks, as you know, I'm very particular about the lifeblood of my car. So we're underneath the Mitsubishi Galant right now and I am getting rid of the gearbox oil as well. This doesn't look too bad. Not as bad as the engine oil, but you know what? Sometimes you can feel stuff. Okay, I can't feel any stuff inside, which is good. I'm not washing my hands here. I'm trying to feel for sediments and things like that. But so far, so good. I don't feel uh, anything. But I'm getting it changed anyway because I was so perplexed by the engine oil that I have no idea what kind of gearbox oil is in this. So I'm going to get it done once and for all. And I'm also putting in this, which is a gearbox treatment oil for manual transmissions. I got this over at the AME Auto Parts Supply in Sipak. I buy a lot of parts from them. And uh, I walked in and I get yelled at, Why are you a long time no come? Ah? Yeah, so that's, that's Mr. KK Chia for you, my good friend. But uh, yes, so this X1R, it's actually gone into quite a few of my cars. And I know what you spy right there. Yes, that's the Picanto that was sold within 24 hours of me posting it onto my channel. And the buyer is collecting it tomorrow. And uh, he's decided to go for some very nice alloy wheels as well, which match the car so well. The originals was, were uh, 14s, these are 15s, and they are gorgeous. So congratulations to the owner of this beautiful Picanto. I think you got yourself one heck of a good buy. Really, really. Yeah, I think you knew a good deal when you saw it. And uh, yeah, this guy is buy and drive. Everything is done, and I hope you enjoy it. So there's the uh, Mitsubishi Galanta Super Touring getting more blood transfused that one that didn't feel too bad you know there was a uh, and it smells it smells like gearbox oil but uh, yeah I, I definitely want to get all of this drained and put in some new gearbox oil. this is the last bits coming out yeah so yeah not too bad not too bad but we'll see alrighty then so you can read the blurb of what it says yeah, you can pause on that and read that but uh, yeah good stuff this and getting harder to find seeing as how manual transmission cars are getting less and less but uh, yeah highly recommended there we go new transmission fuel <laughs> transmission oil going in transmax manual castrol so it's got castrol magnetic and Kestrel gearbox oil. Okay. Lovely. So folks, what you're looking here is the uh, Picanto, the original Picanto rims that were on the uh, green Picanto and they are for sale. So drop by uh, Kenzone and you can have a look. These are all secondhand rims that are for sale at Kenzone. There's a whole bunch of them on the outside here that you can see. Very nice BMW rims with tires. So the price range, Ken, from how much to how much? Mm, below. 300 plus, and after also around 1000 thousand got lah like this like this BMW rims and all that yeah and siap pasang ah with uh, balancing and alignment ah oh, nice so yes come on in there's bunches these used to be on my charade yeah yes these are my charade rims I remember <laughs> so yes if you want my charade rims they are here and I have no idea what these are from what, what's this Ken this is from what uh, Kanchil. Kanchil. Okay, very nice. And these are secondhand, but they've been refurbished. Huh? The yeah. rims have all been refurbished. You can have a look. Very nice. My Mitsubishi is almost done. As you can see, nope, those JRD wheels are not for sale. I'm keeping them with the car. But uh, who knows, maybe one day I'll trade them in and you can have them. But yeah, very, very nice rims. All have been refurbished. And all come with tires. Huh? Yeah. And all, all come with tires. tires. Yeah, in varying degrees. Some of these tires are new. This yeah. tire looks new. Yeah. Wow. Okay, great. So yep, those are the Picanto rims with the Viking tires. You know I love Viking tires. If you want them, come on in and get them. What's the PCD of the Picanto? 100. 100. PCD 100. So if you have a Nasa Surya or a Kia Picanto and you want back original rims, they are right here for the taking. So yes, come on in. In addition to new wheels and tires, they're secondhand, good quality stuff still here. All refurbished. And very nice actually. <laughs> 